breaking news. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space, with first contact made in the nation's capital. Our reporter, Louis, is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Louis? Thank you. I am Louis, reporting live from Lampton Key. As you can see, uh, there is panic and terror in the streets as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens throughout our towns and cities. These space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet unless we give them what they want. The risk of harm to the public is very real and... Louis, are you there? We appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bizarre exclusive, an alien has taken one of our reporters into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Standing by is Jesse. What's happening over there, Jesse? Well, yes, it's very tense here. What we can tell you is that these alien creatures smell really awful, like a mixture of grandpa's socks and smelly fish. Um, it looks like one of the aliens is about to address us through this special translation device. What I want is to be the new president of New Zealand and take o so I can take over this goofy old country and I can do anything I want. Your turn, Paul. <laughs> I want all your V-Bucks and PS5s, kids. <laughs> if you do not give us things in, f in the... Um, Three days, we will use all our Kamehamehas. That's all. Well, there you have it. Are these demands responsible? Is this the end of the human race? Make your voice heard on Twitter using the hashtag OMGAliens. Currently, the government is preparing a statement. So, so we cross now to the parliamentary reporter, Harriet. Thanks, Abby and Maui. Crowds have gathered here, but many are still on their way to work. Some people are unaware aliens have invaded. People wake up, be afraid. Here comes the Prime Minister address the, to address the nation. People of New Zealand, this is your Prime Minister asking each one of you to remain calm. It is important that we do our best to make these space aliens feel welcome. We must display the friendly qualities that define us as New Zealand. We will be holding a pour for day later today. Then I will join the aliens on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country. Our hope is that these beings will spare us from destruction and will move on to Australia. If you come across one of these creatures, we recommend you hold your breath, smile, and quickly run away. In the meantime, go about your business. That's all. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now where to from here? To help us answer this question, we've collected a panel of alien experts to discuss what you at home can do to get through this event. Can you hear me there? What should we all do? Well, obviously, we should be hiding. Because you don't know if the aliens would be, would be good at hide and seek. Obviously that's completely foolish because what we need to do is nuke them all. They're a major threat to society and they need to be eliminated. Die, aliens. You two dim-witted idiots are both wrong. What we need to be doing is welcoming the big hugs and warm kisses. Well, so much for the expert opinions. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we have to find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the mayhem happening up and down the country. Thanks, Maui. Let's have a look at what's happening out there. In Auckland, there is outrage as aliens try to knock over the, or the sky tower and use it as space antennae for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area. In Wellington, the railway station has become an alien transit lounge where they're relaxing in preparation for killing us all. Meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury, where aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the region's cow community. And in Dunedin, the, Dunedin, the creatures have been spotted rolling down the world's steepest street. The, the aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be approached. Well, I'm going to go hide in my basement. Back to you, Maui and Abby. Finally, we interview someone who 
someone who claims they have had a close encounter with creatures from outer space. Our reporter Jay is with that person now. Anya, who states that they have once been um, abducted by aliens himself. So, Anya, the first major question is, what are these aliens actually like? Well, they they just stink. Um, there are so many cows in their like, like place, just full of cows. Mm -hmm. So, um, how has this experience actually affected you? I'm traumatised. Yeah. Well, finally, Anya, with the experience from extraterrestrial... I, I can't say that word. Anyway, with the experience with the aliens, um, what do you suggest we should all be doing? We should all dress up as cows. They, they just won't realise that we're actually human. Well, thank you, Anya, for your time. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Jay. Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as much lollies as I can until I'm sick or until the aliens get me. Meantime, stay tuned for updates fo and fo or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye, everybody. May these terrifying and foulsome aliens have mercy on us all. Kia kaha, and we'll see you tomorrow. If there is one. <laughs>